so I wanna I want to explore the theater. I'm still missing something with the theater. I don't know what the puzzle is there. I feel like I need to go back to um, the staff hallway. God. All right, let's let's try this. I want to go underground again. I feel like there's gonna be something. She runs crazy. I hate the stick, man. No one's in here, right? Cool. Yep, let's go. Pop. Chunk. Definitely not getting the good, um, like the best ending, I don't think. I think I fucked up too much. I'm trying to think if there's a reason to save, or to... I'm gonna try. I don't know if this is actually going to do anything, if this is actually good for me or anything, but... <sighs> what the fuck is that? Piece of paper. And someone said, is that the gold key? I think so. I'm all stocked up on um, this again. What's this? Root sad. Root sad. What does that mean? Northwest. Root sad? What the fuck is root sad? How do I get to root sad? Do I want to be in root sad? Room? Excuse me? Pool? Pool, it's pool. Like the game got interrupted. My first boyfriend taught me how to play pool. Stop wanting to play after I started winning. That's rude. That. It's a med kit. Ooh. Crash. Just a banana peel. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna reload. Now I can pick that up. Boom, baby. Like they have gold inside. Yeah, the metal tubes with gold. What is that for? <gasps> Root access. What's this? Can't remember the code for the break room security gate. I swear it had a three, a six, a two, another six. I can't remember the order. I know I took the code from an old license plate, but it's gone missing. Three, six, two. 
me just take a photo of that. The break room security gate. Raise it. Guess that's it. Switch. Let's, um, heal her up a little bit. Cool. What the fuck is that? Georgia, 2663. Oh, there we go. Atlanta Falcons. 2663. Um, two, six, six, three, but I'm out. Secure, break room security gate. I don't understand. Where's the security? Break room security gate. Oh, I ain't got ammo. Um, let's switch now. Cool. Oh. Wait, what was it again? Did it... <laughs> oh, 2663. Oh, I can't leave. Okay. So. Northwest, so that would take me to the staff hallway, right? Yeah, I'm good on that, I think. Let's just go back. Now we can get into Rootsat. The wooden mo model. The top layer looks like it's supposed to be grass. The bottom layer looks more like soil or rocks. Okay. A map. It shows the underground area. Oh shit. Cool. Oh wow. Okay, so here's all of the different areas I can go in. That's handy. I have not explored this like one bit. Sign. Uh, Route 7 Saturday works hard. Oh, box. This control box. How high does it go? Oh shit. I don't understand. Talk on shells. Shotgun shells, cool. Um, I think we should start using the shoddy Bombadi. What? 
explode it, did it? Did that shit fucking explode? Sun. A map shows a central underground area. But we already know that, right? Power generator. Ooh, that's actually critical, right? Handwritten letter. Hey Ed, do you get my rock shipment? Why don't you answer the phone? What's going on over there? Marv. Sign. Calibration route one, Sunday, preserved for posterity. Oh. I'm gonna think the generator looks ancient. Wonder what it's powering. Turn it off. Uh, actually, I have no idea how to turn it off. Looks fragile though. Maybe I can just destroy it? That might have been powering the. Why is that green? Interesting. There's a center area. Okay, well, that might have been powering the generator. Okay, let's crawl through. Central. Don't know what that central thing means. Um, hello? It's Omara. What do you make of them? What do I make of what? The roots. The big green tubes? Those are the roots? Why are they called that? That's just what Crow named them. What are they made of? The outer shell is mostly copper. However, the inner core is 24 karat gold. Purest there is. As you all know, Trumbull, you p piteous old leech. Shut it, Tolman, you traitorous old cretin. And all the machinery, the big circular saw, it's for... We call it root excavation. Although harvesting might be a more accurate term. The roots are cut into shorter segments, which are lifted up to the surface. All this just to extract the gold? Correct Mundo. She wasn't talking to you, Trumbull. You heinous old parasite. Bite me, Tolman. Pompous old jackass. Or you really should get out of here. Can't leave now. I'm so close. Close to what, exactly? Do you even know? Listen, I know you want to- Don't bother with the pep talk. She doesn't care. Quiet down, Trumbull, you greasy old half-wit. Don't you dare- Don't talk to me like that, Tolman. You can't tankerous old sea sponge. Alright, you should leave. Mr. Trumbull, what are you doing down here? Hey, kiddo. It's shaking. I'm still looking for Edward Crow. Ah, ain't we all? Ain't we all? Why are you looking for him? Oh well, how should I put this? I just need a little help with something. I, uh, he's on the run from the Brazilian authorities. He came back here to hide. Shut your trap, Tolman, you self-righteous old busybody. Why don't you make me tremble, you bloated old gas bag? So, what happened in Brazil? Bro and I were running a little operation, see? was somewhat duplicitous, duplicitous in nature, I guess you could say. We we're selling the gold, right? The gold from the roots? Oh ho, you've been reading up on me, have you? Why go all the way to Brazil to sell the gold? Like, too much of a good thing, you know what I mean? No? Oh well, you see, the gold we scooped out of the roots, right? It's too pure, there's too much of it. 
but why is that a problem? But I didn't want anyone connecting the gold back to his land. I didn't want the US government looking into where it was coming from. I was telling the story to Holman, you uppity old bastard. Well, you're doing a shit job of it, Trumbull, you worthless old junkie. So at least before you got in trouble, you must have been making a lot of money, you and Crow. <laughs> you'd say that. Then why come back here at all? Why not just go live on a desert island or something? They went and seized my ass assets, didn't they? All of it. It's all frozen unless I show my face in court, answer all their lovely questions. Oh, but let me guess. Crow kept your name off the paperwork. So he gets to keep his share of the money. Is that why you really came back? To make sure Crow gets dragged down with you? <laughs> she really sussed you out. Only took her two minutes. Quit your cackling, Tolman. You were an old snob. I'll laugh at you all like... All I like, Trumbull. You dopey old clown. Good stuff. Cool. Bare face. So do I have to do this for everything? to a shoddy bombardi. Fuck. Oh. That didn't take much. I don't trust that. Tuesday. There's a button. Right with the machine on the opposite side. That was underwhelming. Maybe if there was something between the clamps? Kind of electrocution machine. Maybe I can make use of it. Needs a bit of electricity. I don't have anything that needs electricity. came out. Well, at least I've murdered most things around here. This is going to make travel a lot easier for me. Oh, is that an antidote I see? Or is it real? Make a gasoline. That is not real. That is not a large med kit. Switch weapons. Wednesday. 
Oh, day room. That's huge, actually. Uh. Full of woe. Why have all these already been pre-cut? Weird. Wednesday underground. Wait, why were those being? Rose Lab underground. Interesting. Okay. Fire's crackling softly. Staring into the flames, I feel something. It's a cur curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. Maybe it won't. We'll keep on keeping on, I guess. Cool. Cool. See that shit? See those movements? <gasps> it's a computer. It's screen track, but it seems to still work. How am I supposed to know? Far to go. Control panel. Going through a mess of thick, smelly fumes are flowing out of it. What really must be exactly 50 G to successfully manually override. Oh, okay. That's how I use it. to be exactly 50. So that's 39. Or wait. Is that it? Can I do it now? Yeah. Do a mess. Fumes have stopped. Why isn't it holding anything? Oh, now we can go into that area where it couldn't go before. That's actually huge. I'm gonna go up there to go to that last room, but I'm gonna come back down here and take the elevator up. Fuck, dude. Is this Crow's office? Notebook. Coleman's records, July 1988. I finally turned off the excavation machines. Boss didn't give me per permission, but they didn't argue. Uh, he's obsessed with the pool and the guests. He hasn't answered his phone in days. It was an accident in the park. Boss had to shut the place down. I don't think he cares at all. What the fuck is this? What is all this? Large tank. Acid is steadily dripping out of the pipe. It smells almost unbearable. Yeah, let's collect the acid. There we go. Give me that acid. Acid bottle. Turned it off. Loving and giving. Okay, let's cut this. I 
I'll bring this up. Genius. Come on, let the gold fall out. No gold? Oh. oh there we go. Turned it off. Okay. Alright, now let's go back up. still here. Anything I can do for you? Um, not right now, thanks though. Yeah, so now, go out here and we can go into that secret room we couldn't hit before. Oh, can we go in here? No. We don't have the gold key. But we can go in the seven seas. It's a wheel. And turn it left or right. Doesn't do anything, but it's a nice feeling. Having the horizon stretch out in front of you. Wow, look at this horizon. A chest. Open it. Oh, it's fake. It doesn't open. Feeling a very tangible sense of betrayal. Me too, dude. That was fucked up. I'd get. Wait. How do I get there? I want to answer that phone. It's a boat. I want to say I should sit in the middle. Good point. I get, I get it. It all to myself. Nice. Sit down. This is fun, but I can't operate the riot controls from here. Can I ask her for help? Like, how do I... Huh. Oh, hello? Use item. What if I use the acid? Doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Let's ask for help. Will you be able to help me now? Anything I can do for you? Ah, yeah, perfect. Ask for help. Actually, there is something. I need to get through the boat ride in the Ocean Kingdom area. The seven Seas? Yeah, I could use your help to operate the controls. Have you opened the door into the control room? Not yet. I need the golden key to open that door. I remember reading a memo that mentioned it was over by Fairy Tale Town Theater. Let's get the control door open, come back here, and let me know. I'll be happy to come help. Fairy Tale Town Theater. Oh! Shit. Probably best just to use the this. And just use this as fast travel. Stuck on that? Cool. 
That takes me there. Is that worth it? Should I just go to Staff Hallway? Probably should just go to Staff Hallway, especially since... Um, I don't even know if this is technically a fast travel. It's just a little, like, it's probably like the same time. But I've killed everything down here, which is why it's kind of like my fast travel. Well, not everything, but most things I've killed. The things that just like are in the way I've killed. God damn it. Northeast. Okay. That almost killed me. And I would have had to reset all my oh my god, imagine. I need to save like ASAP. Jesus Christ. That was dangerous. Wait, can I? Where's the door? So it's no longer electrified, I just need to... I just need the golden key. in there. Jesus Christ. He's fine. So that's not... Oh! It's a grenade? really good. Oh god, it's- I don't- well it's dead. I suppose that's all that is to say. I'm gonna kill it? Or did it just die? God. It moves fast. Um, can I equip that? Yep. Yeah, you have to die. I'm sorry, dude. These guys, they're strong. Large med kit, cool. Um, I noticed the someone sees the same kind of battery as a giant crow. in there? I'll turn that on. We melt him. And that's where the key is. This had no effect on the fairy's wooden head. Oh, I burn it first.
I don't understand. I don't want to waste all my fucking ammo on this shit. Acid had no effect on his wooden head. I don't understand. Hold on. Okay, this is gonna sound really stupid. Um, even though it says wooden, I think this was a, a, a mistake. Game. I had to shoot it. Fire doesn't burn the wood, I guess. That seems like a really dumb design choice, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Alright, now we got the gold key. And we de-electrified Crow's office, so we should be able to get it out. We'll stuck, pull harder. There we go. Done. I don't feel good about it. sell it basically, not without arousing a lot of unwanted attention. But too much of it too quickly, in the shape of cylinders, well, it's not the normal process is it? But then I had an idea, what if it was the normal process, or what if we pretended it was? So Marv and I devised a plan, we just needed a site, a disused gold mine. Marv found one in South America, in Brazil. You know what? It worked, for a while at least. Um, let's go through everything one by one. What's that? Grenade. Cool. I'm stocked up on grenades. Emory. Oh, Emory! Universe. Okay, because he's in Atlanta. That makes sense. Um, in recognition of the complete, uh, completion of this prescribed course of study, Edward L. Crow has been admitted to the degree of biochemistry. Cool. Handwritten letter. Hey, Ed. We didn't pass the inspection. They figured out that the ore is homemade. The Brazilian authorities want to know where the gold is really coming from. It's getting too dangerous. I'm coming back to Georgia. See you soon. Arf. Electronic panel. Pro room no on. Cool. Now that's open. Blackboard. Control room elevator switch number code. My, fir My first is in Grinner, but also in Goblin. My second is in guess, but not in puddle or spindle. My third is in lumber and goblin, but not in puddle. My, my fourth is notable only by its absence. What the f- that's a riddle, okay. But it's a co- number code. We'll just save this. It's a slide projector. Yes. Press left or right to switch slides. File number 3762. Guest. Emerged at around 50% root excavation. Varies from specimen to specimen, but they largely retain a human like appearance. Most distressing, they are capable of a limited, nonverbal form of vocalization. Goblin. Uh, oh, there's the numbers associated with that. Okay, now I get it. So, let me get a piece of paper and a. Oh, fuck, I should keep pens. Pens are so fucking handy to have. Uh, uh. 
Now I get it. It's the numbers that they're associated with. That's how the, the names make a number. Um, give me a second. Pen in my paper. Um, so, uh, my first is in Grinner. One. Uh, yes. Not puddle. Spindle. Three is in lumber. And goblin. Not puddle or absent. Okay, so now we just need to get the numbers for everything. So the first is guest. So guest is 3762. Goblin is. Let's do all of them first. It's one seven three nine. Nine. One seven three nine. Spindle. Six four one three. This is actually a good puzzle. Lumber one three four seven. Rinner, five five nine two. Puddle, three nine seven three. And that should be everyone, right? Yep. So we were a guest. Goblin. Emerged at around fifty five percent route excavation. Despite their small stature, I've concluded that they are not infants. On the contrary, they may be a senior variant of the gas. Their advanced age causes a weaker genetic makeup, which has diminished their anatomy upon emergence. Yeah, but they're so much faster. They're older, but they're faster. Okay. That is... That is actually kind of nuts. Um... Spindle. Merged around 60% food excavation, much of their muscle and fat is missing, but their bones have become elongated. However, the bone mass is spread more even uh, thinly, and consequently the bones are brittle. Additionally, without sufficient flesh as cushioning, the joints are weak. Lumber. Emerged... Wait, was that the same as that? Yeah, so they both emerged at the same time. Uh, merged at around 60% of excavation at the same time as a sp Oh yeah, they just said it. Here, the opposite phenomenon can be observed. As the lumbers are stiff and stout with excessive muscle and fat, perhaps this could explain why the spindles have insufficient flush. Grinner. Emerged at around 70% root excavation. The form is bipedal, and other similarities to a human body are quickly disappearing in terms of anatomy. Each specimen is vastly different from the next. Puddle. Merged at around 80% root excavation. I pray this is my final entry, for I cannot imagine how anything beyond this point would be capable of emergence. The petals experience widespread cell necrosis. They are, quite literally, melting. Okay. So now we know. Television. Every few moments something flashes onto this up on the screen. Wish it wouldn't. Photograph. That's Crow and Natalie. There's something strange about the frame. Pull it. Oh. Oh, and shotgun ammo. Good. Good. Control room elevator. Which. It's a secret save area. 
what's this? Antidote. Down binder. Squirming back and forth. Is it alive? Small notebook. The Diary of Ed Edward Crow, age 10 and a half. Saturday. I am excited. Tomorrow, Father and I are going camping up in the Condor country. Over the river. Father says it's just a nickname, as there are no condors in Georgia. I am looking forward to that trip, nonetheless. I love being outdoors at night. Well, that's why I made this outdoor room. Sunday. Father and I found, um, found something strange while camping. A green shiny thing sticking out of the ground. It is wriggling back and forth like a little bug. Well, Father says it's not a bug. It is made of metal. What the fuck is that, then? Monday, we found a second wiggling metal thing, a couple of hundred feet south of the first one. Father wanted to know what it was made of. He cut off the tip with his camping knife. He said it's a different metal. It looks like gold. Tuesday, two more shining things, four in total. Father says there may be more. Wednesday, Father bought Condor Country, as well as a couple of acres on either side. He said we could rename it if we wish. Rename it, they did. That. Oh, large mid kit. Facts. Fire's crackling softly. Staring at the flames, I feel something. It's a curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. Maybe it won't. Oh! Hello? Hi, Natalie. How are you feeling? Not great. Yeah, me neither. Is it your mother? Yes. Shit. You died some time ago. Sorry. A beautiful statue. Solid gold. Yeah. Must have been very expensive. I mean, not for them. They fucking get gold, like, every fucking two seconds. Dad really spared no expense, I guess. Did you find him yet? The crow? No. Nope. Not yet. I'm still looking for your father. I have a pretty good idea where he is. I just need to take the central elevator. Laura, what are you going to do? Can you find him? You need to talk with him. Are you going to kill him? What? No, of course not. Don't think I don't see the gun in your hand. I see it in your face, too. You've already made up your mind. Natalie. I know he's done bad things. Very bad things. Perhaps he's beyond forgiveness. Please, don't kill him. Bring him to me, okay? Let me speak to him. One way or another, they might be my last chance. Please, Mara. Why don't you come with me? No. I don't want to know what's down there. I'll wait here. Video feed from the security camera. Wait a second, that's my car. Looks like Arthur is still inside. Talk to him. Arthur, can you hear me? Mara, is that you? I can't see you. Where are you? I'm in the control room. Control room. Is it cool? Yeah, it's really cool. I'm jealous. Let's go on a real adventure. Arthur, how are you feeling? Not great. Just stay there, okay? Mara, are you coming back? Are we going to leave? Yeah, sure, yeah. I'll be back soon. Good. Metal panel. Elevator power grid. One of the lights is red, the other four are green. Monitor. Video feed from a security cam. Showing something on the screen. It's moving. Talk to it. Hello? What are you? What do you want? Not speaking. Don't respond. Okay, that's not a surprise. Um, now the keypad. So the answer is the first number is nine. Two. One. 
one. Nine, two, one, eight, I think. Because I don't see eight showing up once. Yep. Boom. Cabinet open. The lever inside. Shit, it's open now. Well, now I can get in. Um, I need the shot of my body. Three, four, two, three. Screen. The button underneath. I don't understand. Oh, it was monitoring that. Interesting. I don't understand what that's supposed to be. Okay, so now we need to go back to the seven series. We'll probably do that by going underground. So I don't know what to do with the mushroom. Maybe I don't need to figure that out. To release the security, set the floor panel code to one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Oh, so if I didn't want to fight him, I had to do this. Two, three, four. Five. Six. Oh my god. guys have fun Jesus Christ All right, so now we go to the southeast there We're over here okay easy Northwest better? Not really. Yeah, let's just go this way. And we go up, we leave that room, we go to the control room using the gold key, and then we ask. Um, her for help. Yeah, we're like end game right now. I mean, we're only picking up one more item. It's probably the battery, right? We had that, I that item, uh, that description thing basically confirm that. Ringing. Hello? Still alive. I know it's dangerous up there. A lot of them got out to the open. I know you brought a gun. Have you been killing them? I guess? We're in no shape to continue living. The ones that emerged more recently, more so. They continued the root excavation, the guests became even less. Well, some of them aren't even bipedal anymore. It goes without saying that we cannot let them leave Crow Country. But what are they? I don't afford to let them 
to infect anybody else. What are they? Who are they? They're irreversible. A pizza box. I wonder what's in there. Maybe some ammo? It's pizza. You shape pizza box. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I'm hungry enough to do it. Can't open that. A hat. I wonder if see. Or have I been lied to by cartoons? Oh, panel. Yeah, you open it. One moving plot in it. Bon. Grab an antidote. Help me. Help. Ah, uh, the seven C's. We open the door to the control room. Yeah, it's open. Nice work. I'll head to the control room. You go to the boat porting area. See you, see you there. Okay, perfect. I should probably. Ow. Oh my god. It's fucking smacked my ass. There we go. I just want to save just so I don't, like, you know. I mean, to be fair, I probably should have killed him, and I know I originally did kill him. Oh, he got ammo. Cool. I'm incredible. The boat. Get all of myself. Nice. Alright. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. Can you guarantee this will be safe? Should I start the ride? Start it. This is taking me to the end game, I think. Right? Maybe? Or no, I'm gonna get the battery so that I can move stupid thingy. My whale's blocking the boat. I remember it right, he's supposed to move out of the way. I think it's done manually from the control panel. I wonder why Julie didn't press the button. Knock on shells, nice. It's a treasure chest. Control box, press it. More on the switch. See? Oh. Where the fuck did she go? Blood on it. It seems to have stopped working. Oh shit. this. Blood sink. These are Julie's glasses. What happened to her? Well, she dead. <laughs> she dead. Too bad, so sad. She dead. Understand.
Wait, should I check inside? <gasps> Is that a battery? Wait, no, it's a case of shotgun shells. <gasps> yeah, because I... That's the farthest I need. I just need to get the... Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's the battery. Um... Why do I hear a dog? Why is everything dead? I'm a little nervous about that. Not gonna lie. Yeah, everything's dead. What the hell? Was that a shot? Right, the battery still needs charging. Wait. Oh, I have to go underground for that, don't I? Someone try and shoot me? Weird. What's the quickest, um... I need to go to the southeast one, so let's go this way. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna save real quick. Not this, right? There are still lots to alive. Why did they all die? I don't understand why they died. <sighs> oh. Now this place isn't that safe. I think I'm gonna switch to a different shit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch to the shoddy Mumbadi. Cause why the fuck not? Point. Dude, 
do. Turn him around. And a walk. Just like that, he walked out of my life. <laughs> An elevator. Seems to be working. Yeah, let's just go. Why does it sound like sh like someone's shooting bullets? Okay. Oh god, I'm dying. I don't know what to do. Expecting that much bullshit. <sighs> Switch. Oh, they were gonna make me wait. Critical. There we go. Well, there's my little challenge room. Medkit. Cool. Shotgun shells. Still giving me ammo though, so. God, it's Harrison. He's dead. Must have been attacked by those. Wait, no, he was shot. Harrison. I'm so sorry. Harrison James. ID number 05061. Date of birth January 12th, 1965. Firearms expert. Them. Hold on one one second. Okay. Let's keep going. Mining lanterns are really old and need replacing. Any kind of spark tends to set off the oil that's trapped inside. If that happens, just give it a whack to disperse the oil. Flame should go out. Oh. Box of shotgun shells. We'll always take that. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, I'm good. How did you get past all of it, dude? Okay. Tolman. Can't let you. Listen, Harrison is dead. Harrison James, the police at I know who he is. Sorry, Mara. Did you shoot him? I think you might have shot him. You shouldn't have come here. It's only a matter of time before one of those creatures 
He was shot with a gun. <gasps> Shit. You know who did it? Oh, I think he probably got a good idea. Marvin, you... Look, kid, th this is nothing personal, okay? Put down the gun, Trumbull. Then what, huh? Go home, forget this whole thing ever happened? The feds would be kicking down my door within the week. I'm culpable for all this shit. I know. I am too. Mara's not. Leave her out of it. She knows way too much. I think she wouldn't... She won't rat us out. Hell, she already tried. She was getting real chatty with that pretty boy officer. I tried to stop him from coming. I kept telling him to leave. Well, he didn't leave, did he? Neither did you. That was too late. What was that? No idea. Bullshit. This is some sort of trick. I ain't. Bye, Marvin. Where am I? <laughs> Julie! You just murdered him. Julie? Hey. What's going on? What are you doing down there? I'll tell you if you can help me out of this thing. Gosh, sorry. What if that was screwed on tighter? Then she'd just be trapped there. Holy shit, that's fucking terrifying. That's my nightmare. Help her out. Tolman, would you give me a hand? Sure. Tolman's not bad. He's just quiet. Damn. Julie, I thought you'd been... I mean, I came out of that boat ride and you were gone. Blood. Only grabbed me. Grabbed me backwards into the vent. Oh, okay, so it wasn't her choice. What was it? Whatever it was, there were several more of them. Hiding out in the pipes. It's pitch black in there, but I could hear them. Smell them. What, they tried to kill you? Yeah, what are those things that come out of the pipes? They didn't have an entry. Did it? No, mostly they just shook me around. Made a bunch of noise. Shouting, weeping, moaning. Whatever you'd call it. Sounds about right. What do you mean? They're angry, but they don't want to kill us. I'm trying to communicate. Alright, you haven't introduced me. Oh right, sorry. Julie, this is Tolman. He works for Edward Crow. Tolman, this is Julie Barron. She's a lawyer. She was hired by the Marshall family. Blaine Marshall's family. Let's see, this is a crazy lawyer, I'm gonna say. Like, she's going above and beyond her job responsibility. Um, what are you two doing down here? Someone's been killed. Shot. Police officer. Goodness me. The woman here was just about to deal with it, weren't you? I... I'll come with you. I have experience with this kind of thing. Good, okay. Thanks. Mara. Something else. Natalie Crow is waiting in Edward Crow's office. You go see how she's doing? Crow's daughter? Sure, of course. I'll have a chance to talk with her. To her, actually. You're not. One last thing. Arthur Mole. He's out in the staff parking area. In my white uh, fiesta. Did you check on him, too? I've left him alone way too long. Of course. We can do that, too. Thank you. Mar, what are you going to do? I'm going to do what I came here to do. I'll be waiting by your car, okay? Okay. Thanks. Come along, Mr. Tolman. We've got lots to do. Eight. Well in place by two chains. Unhook it. Pop. Pool of water. So clean. Is this spring? Wash face. God, that feels better. I didn't realize how filthy I was. I don't know if I would use this water, actually. Thinking about it. it goes down. Still in a dream, snake eater. Oh, 
this is actually a ladder scene. Wow, we're going far, far down. Just want to give us a break to listen to some chill music. there. Telephone. Been left off the hook. Lots of shotgun shells. Cool. Set of photos. Photos are taped on. Natalie Crow, Edward Crow's daughter. Coleman, the engineer Crow put in charge of the root excavation. Next one is a photo of me. When did he take this? Yeah, what, how did he take a picture of me? Julie Barron, the lawyer hired by Elaine Marshall's family. Arthur Mole, a teenager who wanted to photograph the guests. Marvin Trumbull, who was responsible for Crow's fake gold mine. Douglas Pike, who was in charge of building the actual theme park. Finally, Harrison James. He was a police officer sent to look for Edward Crow. How does he know... How did he get a picture of me? How did he know that was the officer? How did... Piece of paper. Someone's written something here. But I can't make sense of it. Nonsense. I got it. Cool. That's exactly what I need. Set of vials. Five glass vials, each with the same pale green liquid inside. I don't know what they're for. I'll leave them alone. Shower. Air die. Yep. She's Elaine. Look at all my fucking hair. This Julie Barron, Arthur Mole. Marvin Trumbull, Douglas Pike, and finally Harrison James. The interesting thing is that there is never a picture of Elaine um, Marshall. She's Elaine. I called it. I called it from the beginning. She's Elaine Marshall. must be where Crow has been sleeping. The sheets are stained with blood. Hazmat suit. Covered in a fine layer of dust. I guess he's not wearing it anymore. Microwave. Med kit. Sealed envelope for Natalie. I won't open it. A Bunsen burner. I remember using these at school. A bright blue flame. I was crackling softly. Oh, shit. Gotta be the last save file. What are these fucking stupid vials for? Medical cabinet. Of course, large med kit. This. I get ammo. Intercom. Are you talking to it? Yeah, let's talk. Mr. Crow? I'm here. I'm in your lab. Hello, Elaine. Open the door. I will. But first, please pick up the glass vials I've laid out on the counter. Why? Please. Fine. <gasps> Elevator. That doesn't look good. Up to the surface. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It doesn't work anymore. Has someone driven a fire axe to the control panel. Right? Well, I don't have a choice now. Put the same. Most people take them. Okay. First, I need to free up some space. Put down the other objects I'm carrying. I won't need them. 
at all my shit. The vials. Left in their place all the other items I've collected. Police ID card I took from Harrison James. Bronze key given to me by a fairy. Crank candle I found in a safe. Ruby gemstone that was hidden in a painting of a demon. The chain I took from the neck of a mechanical swan. The mask I excavated from a block of resin. The trident I took out of the witch's cauldron. The silver key that was hidden in Neptune's palace. The data disc I got from the change machine in an arcade. The acid bottle I took from a cell in a dungeon. The golden key I found trapped inside a fairy's head. The battery I pulled out from the stomach of a robotic mermaid. Good times. She just said, reminisce. I took the vials. The police ID card I took from Harrison James. That wasn't her police ID card. She's not even with police. I mean, that's fair. Like, look at her outfit. She's not in a police uniform. She wasn't wearing. She didn't have. She had a Ford, uh, a white Fiesta. It wasn't a police car. We just assumed that she was a cop because. We had that, like, uh, police file and everything, but... Wow, okay. Um, let me just save real quick. And then... Mr. Crow, I have the vials. Open the door. Stand back. Intercom. I don't need to use it. The door is open. I'm switching to this. What the fuck? Elaine Marshall. Edward Crow. Yeah, we said we were Mara Forest or something like that. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, Edward Crow. Just want to make sure it's it recording. <laughs> How long has it been? Two years? You've never met before. No, I mean since you became infected. Two years? Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Um, Huh, interesting. So, so a couple of things. When it was revealed that she was, like, you know, uh, I knew I knew the dyed hair was going to be important um, because they made a comment about it. Like, one of the side characters made a comment about it. So I knew that, that this was... She had some type of hidden identity, and the only person that we haven't really seen or heard of is Elaine Marshall. Um... And it also explains the infection because it seems like when um, was it Arthur Mole got bit um, and attacked, he's been feeling really woozy. So I knew there was some type of infection going on. So you became infected two years? Two years since I shut the park. Glad you came back. Why, why would you give a shit? I would offer you a drink, but what do you know? 18? Not quite. Yet you made it all the way down here. Really very stubborn. It's good. It gives me hope. Hope. Tell me, what are you feeling? Bad. Tired. I can't get rid of my infection. I'm getting worse. Of course. I say, I'm relieved they let you out of the hospital long enough to. It didn't. I escaped. I see, you really are determined. And all this because you want to kill me soon? No. I came because I want to tell you something face to face. I need you to know. Come on. Mr. Crow, I'm gonna die from this infection. I tried everything. Nothing works. It's going to kill me. But I didn't realize you have it too? The same infection? Of course. Anyone who has been exposed to the guests will have it. Naturally, I was the first. First guest emerged from the pool, I tried to help him. Put him in a holding cell up on the ground level so we could monitor him more easily. Holding cell? Where I was attacked. 
Yes, bringing the guests up to the surface proved to be a mistake. But you, you look worse than I do. I am simply further along. My continued exposure to the guests have accelerated the process. Continued exposure? Your bloody escapades today may prove to have a similar effect for you. God, it looks bad. Is it like it's that bad? I shall not lie to you. Elaine, remember when your family asked me to pay your medical fees? Yeah, I'm holding you accountable. I was injured in your park, but you never paid them. My lawyer is trying to take you to court over it. Yes, this was a deliberate decision on my part. Knowing the nature of your illness, I knew there could be no cure found at the hospital. Wait, but there is a cure. I made one. You, how? I had to reverse engineer it. <gasps> oh shit, with the acid, that weird thing. I've been studying the highly infectious bacteria on the dead bodies of the gas new kinds of bacteria that no nobody knows about yet. That's been the problem. It's no surprise your doctors were stumped. Those vials from your lab. Yes, you have the cure on your person at this very moment. Five vials, enough to cure five people. Five? Harrison and Marvin are dead. So that leaves you, me, Natalie, Coleman, Julie, and Arthur. Six people. You didn't make enough vials. Wrong there. I shall not be taking the cure. You understand where we are, right? Right now? Call it the pool? Why is there a fucking bad? Correct. Protruding from a step seven roots. What's left of them? After years of you cutting them up, harvesting them for gold. Exactly right. Lane, look at me. Listen. Pool is a gateway. I guess are human beings who attempted to travel through it. They merged here. What? Okay, so you don't turn into guess. Why do they look so... Why are they so messed up? They've spent the last 10 years dismantling the mechanism of that gateway. Sand. Yeah, the roots are the mechanism. And him cutting it is making them more grotesque. The pool still works. Technically. But thanks to me, it is severely malfunctioning. See, the roots are kind of calibrating... A uh, calibration antenna. Necessary to accurately and safely transport those who, tra um, who travel through the... Mr. Crow, where are they coming from? Yes, it's on the other side of the pool. You understand now how my excavations have been causing the mutations of the guests. Also understand the mutations have been getting worse as I cut down more of the roots. The beings that emerge from the pool now, they barely resemble humans at all. Most of them cannot walk, let alone speak. That first guest who emerged from the pool all that time ago, who was the least mutated. No. Yes, Elaine. He could speak. Whoa. Just barely. He told me who he was and why he had come. I wrote it down, word for word, on a little piece of paper. And then, I went back to harvesting the roots. No subsequent guests were capable of speech. Jesus Christ, Crow. I may now understand why I'm choosing not to take the cure. My time is short. Before I die, I must look upon what I have wrought. Going through the pool? Hold out your hand. What? Take it. Now that it is in your hands, I'm going through the pool. You'll be mutated. It'll kill you. A fitting end. 
perhaps if I am lucky, I may get a glimpse of what lies on the other side. I have one more thing to ask of you. If, for any reason, I re-emerge from the pool, I want you to kill me. But, if I re-emerge, I'll be in no shape to continue living. Do you understand? Goodbye, Elaine. Here's a glass. Future. Totally coming out. Understand. I've done so much damage. I'm infected. Let's use it. Jesus Christ. Get the fuck out of Crow Country, guys. Staring into the flames. I feel something. It's a curious mixture. Hope. Red. Maybe everything will be okay. Maybe it won't. Jesus Christ. That's a interesting end. I don't think I got a good ending. <laughs> I don't think I crushed it. But goddamn. I'm gonna say that's a good game. That's an A plus like Resident Evil game. Like a non Resident Evil made Resident Evil game. Uh I I'm I'm really stoked about it. I think a lot a lot of things were really good about the game. Um, I like the puzzles for the most part. I think some of the puzzles were kind of like not the most intuitively designed, but 
you know, for what it was, I think for the most part it was good. I liked the story. Um, I liked the characters. The mystery I kind of figured out pretty early on. Um, but I figured that I was it was a red herring. I didn't actually think like I knew that she, it felt very likely that she was like the main character was Elaine Marshall, but I thought it was too obvious. It was like a red herring, but. Oh. Bolts. Skills use 42. I didn't use a hint. Found nine secrets. Use any lives? B. Hey, wow. Yeah, unfortunately, that bars me from the uh, uh, perfect ending, I think. The S rank ending. Um, I took a look to see. Crowbar? <laughs> Cronade launcher. That's pretty funny. Crow Quirk. You have a lot. Girls are hiding around Crow Can you find and shoot them all? Oh. That's okay. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm good. Um, but no, I think overall it was like a real game. Now, I want, I do want to see the alternative end of the game if I actually, uh, is there different endings? I don't know. Let me actually double check with YouTube. There might have been an S rank ending. I don't know. Um, uh, Wait, is there a different ending? Let me see. There might be not different endings. Endings? Oh, okay. Okay, so... Oh... You know what's interesting? So, I guess there is... No, it looks like there was only one ending. So that was the only ending. The only difference. Um, the only difference is that um, the amount of vials that um, that Ed Crow makes uh, at the end is different because I could have actually saved all um, of the NPCs, um, but I guess I failed with um, the cop. I should have told him don't don't explore anymore. It's just like chill. And I could have also um, saved Marv, I guess. Because the total amount. No, no, no. Every week, if depending on, there always needs to be one less vial than the number of people alive. So if you save every NPC possible, that makes five. Edward makes five vials, and that's how much he made. There were six people. Okay, so I saved everyone I possibly could have. And it wasn't fully explained, but it does kind of like provide a more detailed explanation here. But when they say the guests were traveling through there, it wasn't like what that actually was, was they were traveling through time. 
They were speaking English. And think about it. We kept seeing a number continuously appear. 2106. That number had nothing to do with any of the um, keypads. And we had a, um, a dialogue or a, a note that said like the that the guests kept on like writing this shit. It was like written in blood a lot from different ones. That was the year that they're from. The root was part of a time machine. So people from the future were going into the past. Um, so that actually explains it a little bit more. Man, they really didn't overly communicate that, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think that's something that can be inferred. We don't have to be like, oh yeah, because we, they don't technically know that it's from the future. It's a guess, but that actually makes the most sense. Two one oh six, um, just happening like you know, almost um, more than a hundred years in the future because this takes place in nineteen ninety nine, ninety seven, something like that, ninety six, ninety six, I think. What was ninety six? Um, but yeah, I, I am actually impressed by this game. It was actually, it had no business being that good. I think there's a couple of things that could have been done better. Like I think the, the actual gameplay, like, like the shooting mechanic itself kind of sucked. Um, but I think that was intentional because the mirrored off the PS1 games and that also kind of sucked. But, I mean, just doing something to mirror um, the gameplay of an old of an old style of gameplay that wasn't... That was the best that they could do at the time, but now, like, you know, 20, 30 years later isn't as fun. It's... Uh, <sighs> I think there's a way of doing it where it resembles the old style of like shooting, but still managing to be fun. I think they need to work on the gameplay a little bit, but I want to see more of this. This studio is fucking this game. Trade. Um, it by S F B Games. Okay, they made the Mermaid. Well, they haven't made it yet. It's coming soon. So Crow Country was their first game. That's oh no no, no. they made Tangle Tower, which I've never heard of before. But huh. Well, I really hope they do more stuff like this in the future. They continue to do survival horror because one thing is clear, they're really so yeah. Um, looking forward to the next game, and I'll see you all later.